Hey Guardians, Cloydel Triple XV here, and welcome back to Destiny 2 Glitches. In today's video, just like I said two days ago, we are going to glitch into Hangman's Pass, aka the No Name Area. But of course, it does have a name now, but it didn't two weeks after Destiny 2 launched, of which I showed you guys how to glitch in there with a Warlock. But today, it's the Titan's turn. So let's get on and show you guys exactly what you need to be able to do this. Of course, you will need to be a Titan, does not matter which subclass. Make sure that you have Catapult Lift on. And of course, you will need a Sword and Lion Rampant, because once again, we are going to be doing some Titan Flying. Next thing you need is to pick up once again the Supply and Demand Adventure. Long time no see, you two. And then when you reach this part during the adventure, it's behind there that we actually need to go. So go ahead, abandon the activity. And just like we did in the previous video to glitch into the PlayStation Strike area, it's going to be very similar, except of going right. Instead of going right, we're going to go to the left. And while I'm here, I want to give a little shout out to The Helmet Fire on uh, Twitter. Um, I believe he also has a YouTube channel. Um, but whenever he watched my previous video, he went ahead that night and got into Dead Man's, no, Hangman's Pass without even needing to see my video. Um, but he did it the old way that I did it with the Warlock, um, getting out of the map, not using this way. Um, so yeah. Uh, Oh, I just wanted to give you a little shout out, dude. <laughs> so here you are, guys. We have landed back on the water. Now we're just going to go and Titan fly in this direction. And it's as simple as that. Very nice. Remember guys, even if you do not have the Curse of Osiris DLC, you can glitch your way inside this area and explore to your heart's content. And hell, even if you do have the DLC, you may as well do it, because it's fun. It's not as fun as when it was the no name area. Because back then, there was no height barriers. It was amazing. So whenever you do load that area up, just jump off and wipe and you will spawn inside. Now let's go and explore a little bit. And whenever we get to certain things, I will talk a little bit more about certain things. Okay, so here we are in the main area where the radio tower is. Now, if some of you guys did glitch in here um, before it actually updated for Curse of Osiris, you will remember that there was like fallen, loads of fallen uh, banners and stuff hanging from that radio tower. And also you could go all the way underneath from this side to the other side, but now they're, they added it. They added a elevator shaft in it, which wasn't in the new name area. And of course here it is. That was one of the things they added in the update. But they did take things away. They took away those fallen banners that I was talking about. And they uh, 
They also closed the door at the very top. Now, of course, you can come in here, you can't actually do anything. But it's still pretty cool being able to actually come back in here anytime you want. Now let's get back out of here. I was trying to remember exactly how I got out before, and it was from this. Okay, there we go. Now next, that is the door that was originally open in this area. Inside, wee tiny room. Um, there was nothing in it, but they decided to close it when they updated the game. And another cool thing about in the original version of this before they updated it, was there was no height barrier, so I'm going to show you guys how high you can actually climb up this radio tower. And the sound has cut off, at least in my headset for some reason. Oh, let's land and jump right over here. And this is pretty much as high as you can get up. As you can see, there's a height barrier directly above me. Still, it's a beautiful view from up here. Very nice. I likes it. Now, over there. Let's head over there and I'll talk a little bit about that. Okay, so for some of you guys that's been around here for a long time, you guys will remember I showed you what was behind inside that tunnel. It was a huge long tunnel. It has cars and buses and cables hanging from the ceiling and everything. And the thing is, the way we got to it was from right over here. We were able to get um, all the way around the mountain. But Bungie went ahead and added barriers. So going all the way around the mountain is not possible anymore. But... You may be able to use the Phoenix Dive glitch on a Warlock. So hopefully, I will test that out sometime and see if you can actually explore that tunnel once again. And who knows? Actually, let's be honest, there's not going to be a loot zone at the end of it this time either, but still, it'll be worth a try. It'll be worth checking out. Now, I'm going to go all the way through this tunnel to the very end. Um, I know there's a few people on Reddit that have mentioned this tunnel. They said that whenever they were doing the Curse of Osiris mission, they saw there was another tunnel right at the very bottom, but it was blocked off with a blue fallen barrier. And they were like, what's behind that? And I was like, it leads back to Mavic Square. So this is just for those guys if they ever do check out this video. And there we go guys, we're back to where we started. By the way guys, I have a clan, Dead Ghost Guardians, if you'd like to join it, you'll find a link in the description box down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, or even subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time Guardians, this is Cloud L Triple XV, and as always, thanks for watching. Hey guys, I have a little bonus video for you. Um, this was actually during that Curse of Osiris mission, and I like to call this little clip Fallen Pipe, Fallen Pike Escort to revive Sagira. As you can see, I'm sitting down on top of this pike, so it pretty much looks like I'm being escorted by this pike. If we kill these enemies, go in and revive Sagira. Sagira, simple as that. But I have to say, guys, it was very tricky actually trying to get my pike up onto this radio tower. Come down here. But if you guys do want to see that, and you did stick around, um, just leave a comment saying can you show us how you can get the pike up there, and I will do so.
But, there we go guys, that was the Fallen Pike Escort, Fever 5, Sagira. Hope you enjoyed that little bonus video, but yeah, till next time guys, take it easy.